Right, so there's a couple of reasons why I don't film all of my builds. One of the major reasons is that I forget normally until after I've finished a build. But one of the other reasons that's quite important is that it's too hot to wear a shirt and I don't want to take videos of myself without a shirt on. Um, it's just a fact. I'm not proud enough of this to do shirtless videos. You deserve better. So. Uh, Today I'm wearing a shirt just for you because today I've got this. Now, it's not going to be easy to see there, but that is some sort of trapdoor spider. Looks mean. Um, it's been rescued. It was it was found in someone's house um, and we've had a lot of rain here lately. So a lot of stuff's been displaced. Something like that that lives underground in a burrow has probably been swimming for a while and needed somewhere dry to be and for all of its hard work going into someone's house it's been put in a jar and given to me so i want to photograph it but it's a black spider how do you showcase a black spider i want to get the details i want to get color i want to get light in there so it needs to be a set that's going to be pale enough for the spider to show up and really contrast against and then i want it to be really well lit and in the past, I've, I've lent on spaceships a lot, as you can get sort of fluorescent style lighting in a modern-ish spaceship, um, but I uh, kind of don't want to do that. I need to do something new. I do have, you know, the other thing is a figure, like I've got Moon Knight from Marvel Season 2 CMF, uh, and he's an amazing figure. I really, really, really want to photograph something with him. Spiders and an Egyptian superhero might work. And then I could use a lot of tan, I guess. Hmm. I mean, he does a lot of stuff in cities, though. So maybe... Oh, Conchu. Be in an alleyway. I've done a few alleyways before, too. Huh? I just don't know what to do. The easiest thing to do would just be to put him on a black backdrop, put him on a grey space base, put him with a white space person, call it a day. But I don't actually know what this spider is, which means there's a chance it might be kind of rare, and I don't want to fumble the photo by just fudging it with something easy. Who else can I put it with? No. Oh. That's a cop out. That's a cop out, but it didn't work. A pile of skeletons. Just a big old pile of skeletons. <laughs> I hate myself for this because I I don't want to reinforce people's fear of spiders but at the same time they just make such great big scary monsters you know like I love spiders and I think more people should love them you don't have to handle them you just have to appreciate that they're a relevant part of your environment but um Jeez, it's just so easy to make them into monsters. And skeletons are white, which is exactly what I need right now. I need a white backdrop so that I can make... Oh, I hate myself for doing this, but hopefully it will... Cool, oh, there's a broken leg. 
Hmm. I have a bunch of these Ninjago skeletons with shoes on. Why does a skeleton need shoes? What are they gonna hurt their feet? What's the go with that? Who thought that up? I better put shoes on. Wouldn't want to go outside with skeleton feet and stand on a rock. Crazy. Big old pile of bones in a cave. The other thing with this spider is I don't know how it's going to handle. I don't know if it's going to freak out right away. I don't know if it's going to sit still. I don't know if it's going to rear up. So imagining a set for a large-ish spider when it may run, may stand still, may go crazy, may do nothing. I don't know. It's really, it's really complicated. All right now. We're gonna have our pile of skeletons in a cave. The cave should be. Alright, time to take this party to the bathroom. So it turns out I didn't think this through. The bath has a bunch of water in it at the moment because the water supply locally keeps getting shut off with the storms. Um, and so I can't put the spider in the bath. Uh, so I'm in a shower instead because there's still three walls that can't climb and one that it can. Uh, I've got the set over the drain so it can't go down the drain. Ideally, got my, oh crap, Backup insurance policy, put that over the spider if it's moving around too much. I've got a plastic chopstick, which is how I negotiate with my friends, because I'm not going to stick my finger in front of it just in case it's venomous or dangerous or aggressive or whatever. But this is a really good way just to sort of, you know, nudge a leg or lift a leg, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's the basic thing. I've got a light here, because I do want this to be a well-lit situation but at the same time because it's supposed to be in a cave I don't want it to be enough artificial sort of a situation but I do want this spider to be well lit so that's let's just see if we can cast some gloomy old shadows there for a bit see how that goes all right now then hmm what do we do with you, buddy? Let's see if we can get you to come out happily. <laughs> okay, not a happy spider, but look at that defensive posture. Wow, you scary little monster. <laughs> okay, okay. So, between playing dead and being very aggressive, Excellent. I think I'm in over my head already. Just not uncommon in my life. Yes, I see you. I see you and I respect you. And I'm going to put you on some Lego. There you go. Oh, wow. What a boss spider. Nope, don't want that. Oh, 
<laughs> Are you threatening me? You are too. Don't you be threatening me. Are you threatening me? Hey, I'm gonna eat the quail. I need to be for me, bang, hold. Bang, hold, bang. Well, that's unfortunate. So my skin is reflecting off the backdrop environment. Look at you. Ugh. <gasps> Look at you with the Whoa! <laughs> oh goodness me. You obviously need to get a little bit closer for this action. Look at this situation here. Goodness me, what an awesome spider. Goof! He's just struck that. Wow, you are stressed to the max, aren't you? Okay, so how? Wow, okay. That's pretty awesome. I mean, that... that's going to help me identify it at least. So because I don't know what this spider is yet, I'm trying to identify it as well as photograph it. But now, I want to keep my fingers as far away from it as possible. Because <laughs> it jumps and it bites. Oh, goodness me. Well, well, well. Okay, so it doesn't perceive the camera as a threat. Oh, maybe it does. Ooh. I love the way this thing walks. This is so cool. Ah! <sighs> All right. <sighs> oh my goodness me. So much excitement. Oh, you stay that way. That'd be great. That would be great. Well, if you knew you could get the right way up, why didn't you just do it? Jeez, you made that look hard. Alright, come on over here. Oh, wow, man. What an excitable spider. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know he's had a couple of days. He, he's had a, a few days of being stressed and stuff. I get it. I get it. That's it. Wow. <laughs> You're stressing me out. Come on now. Stop flipping around all over the place. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You're scary. You're venomous. You're angry. I, I get that. I do get that. Right, so let's just pop you back over. Please don't freak out this way. Hey! Oh, there we go. All right. Ooh, climbing Lego. That's not what I was hoping for. Wow. Please go back down. Ah! Get up! <laughs> oh, he scared the poop out of me. I'm loving this playing dead business. I'm like. You and I both know you're a big scary monster and you've got a whole bunch of vim and vinegar. So, playing dead. Oh, mate. This situation's freaking me out. Put 
keep on there. You don't have to jolt like that. You're just making everyone uncomfortable. You're making skeletons uncomfortable. You're not making anything any easier. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you give me the willies, Mr. Spider, just stop it. Can you just get off of the chopstick? That's all I want you to do. Get off the chopstick. There we go. See how hard was that? Now. That's great. Angry legs as well. Ah! <laughs> just, just calm down. Oh, you're freaking me out, man. <sighs> this is too much. Too much excitement for one day. And then... No, ah, ah, no, we've talked about the stick. Just leave the stick alone. Poop back up to there a little bit. Oh man, you are way too feisty for my lighting. Come on over here, off the stick. We talked about the stick. Come on. I don't like this bit. Follow the stick to its logical conclusion. And back on the neck. Oh, oh yeah. You're not good at that, are you? You do not have feet made for climbing on branches, that's for sure. And I respect that. Nor do I. Come on, you and I both know you're not great at this. Maybe we've got enough, hey? What do you reckon? So, I think I got some good photos. I'm not 100% sure which one's going to be my absolute winner yet. But uh, that shoot scared the poop out of me repeatedly. Not really comfortable with spiders I don't know. Um, jumping around the place and biting my, my little uh, chopstick. So, ah, thank goodness that's over. Yeah, I uh, won't be doing that again anytime soon. No.